Good morning. It's Thursday morning. The New York Marathon is in Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three plus seven, carry the one, 10 days. The marathon's in 10 days. Did that fast 10 miler yesterday. Then, ooh, my knees hurt a little bit, ooh. And the calendar says day off today, plus the race is in 10 days, so I'm taking today off, which means I'm hit. I'm heating this boy up right here. I slept kind of shitty last night. I don't know what the fuck is going on with me, man. I can't sleep recently. It sucks. I go through phases where it's like a month I'll sleep amazing every night, and then all of a sudden I out of it and it's like every night is a shitty sleep. It's weird. Anyways, we're heating this bitch up right now. I plugged some holes in there, took some rocks out of the heater, which I guess you're supposed to do. So hopefully it gets a little bit hotter in there this morning, but I'm gonna go sweat it out. That's today's workout. It's going for a nice sweat. A nice sweat. Holy fuck. And then maybe I'll take a dip in the cold plunge, who knows? I mean, have a little spa morning, you know? Treat myself to a little spa day. I deserve it, you know? Ooh. You can see, dude, my body is steaming. Just finished my first sweat of the morning. I'm gonna go hit the cold plunge and then get back in. All right, I'm gonna come clean with you guys for a second. I feel phenomenal after that. Oh my God. It was like 10 minutes sauna, three minutes cold plunge, 10 minutes sauna, three. 10 minutes sauna, three minutes cold plunge, 10 minutes sauna, three minute cold plunge, and then back in the sauna. And the sauna is still only getting like 150, so I gotta figure that out. I'm gonna call there. They have like a support line <laughs> i feel like such a dweeb i'm gonna call the sauna support line because the thing's not heating up enough literally there's a number on the thing it's like if your sauna's not heating up enough call this number because i want to try and get it up higher like to like you know excruciating heat so i'm gonna try and figure that out but man what a morning i feel i mean i still feel tired but i feel great my body's just ah, relaxed so now i'm gonna film for three hours and just zap my brain you know now that my body feels good, it's time to fuck up my brain instead. Tonight for dinner, BLT. I didn't really set mine up right, so that looks really, <laughs> looks like a shitty Jenga tower. But look at this. That bacon is crispy as hell, watch this. Listen very carefully. Oh, hear the bacon crack? Oh my God. I'm about to dive in. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. It's really good. The bacon's phenomenal. Fresh heirloom tomatoes from the farmer's market. Mmm. Oh my god. See that? <laughs> like the classic, no, it's great. the classic great background Gilmore music. Girls. La la la. Look at that right there. The bacon is so crispy. It's so good. I cooked the living shit out of it. It's delicious. If you want bacon that is just crispy all the way through, 375 for 33 to 35 minutes. It's gonna look like it's burning. It is a little bit, but just trust the process. Ah! <laughs> She's like. All right, last dish. Literally the last dish. Dried it, went to put, it was the tray that I cooked the bacon on, went to put it in the drawer. I fucking slammed my finger on the, <laughs> the fucking chopping thing from Amazon. Yeah. That comes with a box of just razor sharp knives <laughs> and one of them was faced up and I slammed my finger on it and did this. You I can't really. A little warning yeah, that. sorry. I mean, it's not really that. It doesn't really look horrible, it's, but it shit is fucking deep. Yeah. From the side, look at that shit. So we're going to urgent care to see if I can get some stitches because I really hope that I can like, it'll be fine, right? Yeah. If something's stitched up, you can like sweat and be fine. I think it'll be fine. We're gonna find out. Look at that shit. Damn, almost chopped my knuckle off. It didn't really hurt at first, but now it hurts really bad. Yeah, I was like, whoa! It's fucking metal! Let's go! Eating the blood. There was blood like sucking it out of my finger. Was there it wasn't all over the floor. Yeah, I wiped it up. Yeah, it started squirting out of my finger. It was pretty awesome, like right away. Alright, well, I'll update you. See if I get some stitches. Or what if he's just like, you don't need stitches for that, you pussy. I will tell you though, never a dull moment on this train. Choo choo. Indeed, Keep you know. Keep chugging along. It's not always fucking sunshine. <laughs> sunshine. Sunshine. <laughs> it's not always sunshine and lollipops on this trip, you know. The train. The train, yeah. Sometimes you got to go through some pretty, you know. What's it called in Lion King? Pride Rock, and then the. 
You know, the savanna. Sometimes you gotta go through the savanna. I don't think that works. The junk, the junkyard. Is. You know, I, we're not you, always we're not always cruising saying, through though, with fields. The train? What are you saying? Because of Cody trains. Yes. Okay. So I'm saying I'm continuing on that, saying it's not only it's not a, always a smooth smooth ride on this train. Smooth ride. We're not always on the track. cruising through beautiful fields and flowers. Sometimes we derailed on accident. Yeah, sometimes it derails on into a junkyard mm. of knives. I yeah, I'm just so like I wish I was watching what happened. I didn't even see it. I just put my finger down. I know. Ah! I was so excited for my apple dip. Sorry. Don't be sorry. <laughs> I love busting a mish, you know that. I was excited for my athletic brew. We can still have both of the things that we were excited for. Yeah, what if there's an ice cream store up there? We also have Athlete's Brew. What is it? Athlete's athletes Foot, I think is what you're looking for. <laughs> we, we have Athletic Brew and Apple Dip at home. Chugga chugga, baby. Okay, bye. There it is, folks. Repaired. Three stitches. She asked me what color I wanted. I said pink. Well, she got out the yellow and she was like... There's also pink. You wouldn't want that. I said, give me the pink. I said one cute. in the pink. Ew. <laughs> I got to watch. I watched. The guy was nice. They were all nice. I watched him stitch it up. Yeah, that was the first time I've ever gotten stitches. Kind of crazy. All right, let's go get an ice cream. Okay, it's Friday. Got my bunk ass finger here. Uh, and it's time for intervals. Yes! I'm hitting them on the treadmill today. Last week, when I was in SF, I got to the gym. I was there with my buddy. He's like, you wanna go to Equinox? I was like, let's get it. I was like, there's no no better place for intervals than Equinox. You know, everyone's, everyone's gonna be looking at me like, that guy's going fast. You know what I mean? Feed off that energy. Yeah! Nobody was looking at me. But I get to the gym all stoked. Put in my headphones and I get that, you know, that sound. <laughs> Fucking dead. One of them was dead and the other one was on like 1%. So I was like, great, guess I'm raw dogging these today. Nothing worse to raw dog than intervals. When you have to be dialed the fuck in and you need all, every little morsel of motivation you can get and you don't have music. Oh, but it felt good, honestly, because I ended up doing six of them or five of them. Just no, just, just me and my own fucked up thoughts. So that was last week. Today I do have my headphones with me. So I'm about, I'm about to rip these. I really hope nobody's on the treadmill. Fucking cross your fingers. Okay. Holy fuck, that was hard. All right, shut up. But I did it. I did, f I did two of them at 650 pace and four of them at 640 pace. So that's my fastest set yet, ever. So that's good. We're just like collecting PRs right now. Oh, that, that's my, no, I'm not even gonna say it. You know, sometimes I just abort jokes, just mid, mid jokes. It's just like, why you don't do it? You know, it's just, they suck sometimes. Fuck, that was hard. I'm not worried, cause this is like soak, I was just soaking wet afterwards. Like my shirt, you could wring it out right now. I had to take it off cause I was getting cold cause there was so much sweat on it. And this is like a little bit wet too, which is, hope I don't get infected. Good morning, my beauties. It's Sunday. Yesterday, I had a beautiful day off. Didn't do, didn't even think about doing anything. Honestly, I slept in a little bit. Did I? No, I didn't. I woke up at five. That was a bold-faced lie. I'm sorry, I just lied straight to my teeth. But I did rest. We, f we shot a video yesterday, but other than that, I didn't do anything. Relaxed. Five day, <clears throat> excuse me, five days until the New York City Marathon. Five days, it says that in Training Peaks right now. I open it up, it says five days till race. So that makes me excited and nervous. We're leaving on Wednesday night, taking a little red eye over there. So today, just an easy hour. And there, right now there's gale force winds right now, all of a sudden. And normally we would brave the elements. You know on this channel, we brave the elements normally. And normally we do brave the elements. And um, if you know me, you know that normally I brave the elements, but not today because I hate wind. Wind is the worst one, the worst element by far. I'll take rain, I'll take snow over wind any day. So I don't fuck with wind. We brave the elements except for wind. 
So I'm at the gym and I'm going to do an hour on the treadmill. It's just an hour zone one run today. So I'm just going to put it on fucking, I don't know, set six and a half, seven miles an hour. Just kind of cruise for an hour. That's my plan. And I'm sticking to it. Okay. Okay. Thanks for watching another week. I appreciate you very much. I did the last run on Sunday. Breezy seven miles on the treadmill. Felt really strong. And then uh, we went to the Chargers game. Thank you to the Chargers for having us. It's always fun to be there. And then, now I'm in New York. I'm here. The race is in a few days. So uh, this outro is a little late, but um, I wanted to do, to do something closer to the race so it feels a little bit more topical. But um, I feel good. We got some stuff to do today. And yesterday I did a bunch of stuff, like just, I don't know, press. I know that sounds really douchey of me to say, but that's what it was. Just running around doing press, you know? So yeah, I feel good. Race is in a couple days. Actually, by the time you're watching this, I'm done the race. So should I post this before? Perhaps. Maybe I'll do that. Anyways, the race, it's Friday for me right now. The race is on Sunday. I feel good. I feel like maybe I gained a little bit of weight this week because I didn't run at all. And I was also on set for something that I can't really talk about, but the craft services was really good. It's basically like the table of snacks that's constantly there. And when you're just sitting around a lot in between takes and stuff like that, you just kind of wander, at least me, you know, I'll waddle over there and, you know, grab a, especially during Halloween time, it's like I was grabbing, you know, a little hundred grand bar maybe, you know, just a small one, just a small one, I'm just eating one of them every 30 minutes. So what, six of them? Oh, fuck. So I think I've gained uh, maybe an LB or two this week, which is not smart of me, but I still feel good, I feel strong. And I feel ready. I'm a little nervous. It's going to be a long day. Um, my start time is 9.45 a.m. So, and I have to leave my hotel at like 5 a.m. So the time between me leaving and starting is going to be a long time just sitting there with my own nerves. So anyways, I'll, I'll talk more about this in my next video, which will be all about the marathon. So I hope I do fine. And um, who just, oh, someone just messaged me. All the best. Thank you for watching another week. And I, I appreciate you very much. Actually, I didn't do a favorite comment. Let's see what Let's see what's good. Okay, this one's from DJ Fresca 10. I've been losing weight for the past six months or so and I've hit a plateau. Your videos are keeping me motivated during the ups and downs of my fitness journey. Thank you, Mr. Trains. Uh, like I've said before, that's what it's about, ups and downs. That's how you make progress in anything. Nothing is perfectly linear, so sometimes you hit plateaus, sometimes you hit some valleys, but as long as the graph, as long as you zoom out and the graph is going up and to the right, or I guess in this case, down and to the right, then that's progress, you know? So keep that in mind. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you very much. Take care. Oh, choo-choo!